Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build bridges using custom floors. This is good if you're trying to build onto an island or just want an easy way to travel. I'm going to use the biggest island in the game to show you how you do it. It's located here on the map. First off, how you do it is you get a rock wall out and you draw a line of how wide you actually want the wall to be. I'm making mine quite big on this one, but it's up to you how wide you want it. Corner it off and take it onto the other side. Try and match it up as much as possible. Make sure you make it the same size across as you did the other side. And make sure you snap it in. Take your time with this. And what you do, run back over. And join it up. Once that's done, complete that side of the wall. And then head back over while clearing all the other blueprints. You don't need them anymore. Finish that end. Clear the other blueprints. Once that's done, open up the book and go to custom floor. Boom, it's automatic. That's all you really need to do. Because it's so wide, it's going to use a lot of logs. That's 50 logs. You will need to build stairs up to it. I tried using a simple stairs, but it's a little too high. A custom stairs would be better in this situation. If you make it flat, it works like a ramp, so the carts will go up it a lot easier. Here I'm going to test the carts and see how they go up and down it. Yeah, the simple stairs are a little funny, they make the cart bounce up and down and I can't back over it. But I'll just jump off the side, works just as well. Though the ramp one works a lot better, up and down very easy, no trouble at all. These work well as bridges because they're quite flat. Now you do the other side. These bridges are good because they don't have any palings or pillars underneath them. You can connect these bridges to your base, so you can connect them to a custom platform. So if you want the bridge to go directly into your house, you can do that. Docks and custom stairs are usually much more expensive, especially docks. Stairs I'm not a fan of because they're hard to get straight and they look wonky and the pillars are a pain. What you can also do with these bridges is build things around them. You could even turn it into a house or like a dock. It's up to you. If you don't like the ultra flat look with no pillars underneath, you can build platforms to mimic sort of a bridge type shape. I'm now going to show you how to build the same bridge, but make it much higher so boats can fit underneath it. In this one, I'm using custom walls. You can use rock walls or log walls. I prefer rock because they're cheaper and easier to find. They're lying everywhere, literally. So the same process, link it up. Now because you're going higher, you don't want to actually clear it all. You want to build on top of it again. Like that. And then you don't have to clear so much. I think in the case of the large raft, two is high enough. And what you do is clear the rest of it. Finish that off, and then the same thing as before, get the custom floor out, and boom, this one only costs 30. It's actually the same price as the other one, considering the two walls there. 
Now, if you're doing this, it can be a bit difficult to actually reach the custom floor. So it might pay to build a staircase first. It's up to you how wide you actually make the bridge. The wider it is, the more expensive it will be. And make sure it's a good ramp type staircase so you can get the logs up there. I can't actually reach the platform from here. This is what's good about the boat is that you can use it as a, as a means to reach the bridge so you can complete it. I noticed I created a bit of a lip on the staircase. You wanna try and avoid this as much as possible. I'm gonna to attempt to fix it here. This usually doesn't go well, but I managed to do it pretty well this time. I don't know why. Building wood on top of wood usually ends badly. It's the same thing again. Careful how high you make the bridge and jumping off it. I have actually died from doing this before. And there we go. And the large raft fits perfectly underneath it. Now this isn't taking advantage of the game, I believe, because these bridges are ridiculously weak. As you can see, I've got a whole army of mutants and they easily destroy the bridge in a few hits. Though the benefit is, they usually land in the water and kill themselves, so it's not all bad. What you want to do is build a fortification around it. It's usually a good way to do it. If the pillars fall, the entire bridge will fall. A way to protect the bridge is once you've placed the blueprint, is to actually remove all the walls. It will appear as a floating bridge, but the mutants won't be able to hit it or have access to it. So it will practically be invulnerable. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.